Well, I'm working on putting my hydraulics in my clutch after the monumental task of the uh, cutting all the body back apart, frame apart and pulling the motor out and fixing all that. We're finally back on track. But I've done a lot of work since then. It took a lot of time because uh, I've only got 98 days left from where I'm at right now. So, uh, and I had to finish up all that back and do all the, all the uh, straightening and redoing everything. I ain't had time to video, so I want to catch you up right quick on where we're at. So I'm working now, I'm working on getting all my clutch stuff in. I got from American Powertrain. I'm, I've got all my pedals about in place. You can see I put, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, I put uh, remote reservoirs in behind the dash. That gets them off the firewall. Makes it a little harder to feel, but once you get them full, they, they don't go down much. And I made this panel removable in a way to where the uh, dash uh, gauges actually go back and out of the way and then right back in place and screw it right back on and factor that in there. Now, in the back back here, I'm not going to have a floor in this truck, but I had to have some things like the wheel tubs to block overspray, and I put uh, panels in front and rear in the back here, made some little frames for it, and this is what I've been doing, so I had not had time to update my videos like I needed to because I had to do so much work right here. I ended up cutting both frame rails off on the back, uh, changed the arch in them. I did an overlay right in here to support all the way the truck. I handmade this cross member. And uh, one of the neat things I like is this Watts Link system. This Watts Link system, they're usually mounted on the back and they pivot back and forth. Well, this one I decided to do a little different so you could see it. So I've mounted it on top and it's an exact centering of this rear axle because I've only got about 10 millimeters of clearance on each side of the frame rail. Now, if it if it does touch on that frame rail, I can go in there and slice it and pie cut that frame rail and move it in just a little bit. But I think with this Watts Link, it's going to lock it down pretty good. And I also uh, let a lot of my air out of my tires. I got about 15 pounds of air in them, so I've got them squatted out to just get the most uh, out of them in case they do move around or, or rub or something. If I put more air in them, they get skinnier. And then if you build around it being up and skinny, it can uh, create trouble later on. My gas tank, I put me a fuel pump inside of it, so I've made me a little basket. Got a fuel pump that'll go down in it. I'll weld the back back on it. I've made the fuel lines go out of the back of the tank into the frame rail. I box the frame rail and back up to the front. Um, my wheel tubs were a little bit small that I got from Summit, so and instead of starting over with them, I just sliced them and expanded them out about a half an inch on each side, an inch total, and put some plates back over that. And I'll rapture liner that black, and then this will be semi-gloss black. Uh, had to make me some rear uh, tail light brackets, and uh, we're going to use older tail lights than uh, what came on this. Uh, I think they're even off of Chevrolet. They're just some I had, and then made some nice little brackets to support that. I got my three-inch exhaust on there, and it's just barely showing right there. I think I'm going to. Uh, I'll, I'll heat shield wrap it all the way out the end, probably powder coat it to color the wheels on the very tip of it right there. See, I'm doing all the, got all kinds of wiring and stuff. Brake lines. Then uh, up here on the engine. Trying to get all this wrapped up. So I've got, I'm starting to put in my fuel injection wiring harness. And I'm gonna mock all this up, drill the holes, run all the lines, kind of get everything tweaking and working the best I can. And I'm hoping by uh, next couple days, I'm gonna tear this thing completely apart. I've got next week an appointment at the dyno to dyno this motor on the uh, 6th or 7th, I'm, sure, I'm not sure what day next week. So we can get this thing dyno, we'll video that too, and that'll be pretty fun, watch this thing dyno. Now I'm not gonna dyno with this injection system on it. I've got another intake and carburetor we're gonna put on it. So uh, I'm fixing to get back in there and work on my wiring. Stay tuned for our dyno run we got coming up. Uh, I hope to see this thing push close to 600 foot pounds of torque would be, would be nice. So let's, uh, let's, let's get this thing finished up and then get it off to the dyno shop.